Okay, going back to the idea of professional investors don't care if markets go up and markets come down. We're going to go into that. But I want to reiterate one more time. When I, when I talk to people and I say the market's going to crash, and they go, oh, oh, oh. I don't care if it's stocks or real estate or whatever. You know they're not a professional investor because a professional investor doesn't care. They'll make money going up and they'll make money coming down. So to be professional, you need to have two different strategies, at minimum, possibly three strategies, depending upon the markets as to how you handle the trends in the marketplace. So let me give you an example. Let's say the market's going up, which what most people like, the amateurs love it, the professionals like it and all this. At this point, you may just buy the shares of stock or you could buy an option, like a call option as the market trends up. Most people love these types of markets. But as we had you know, up until the year 2000, this went up and up and up and then suddenly it couldn't go any higher and all markets come down. There's always booms and always busts. So that's why professional investors know you need to have at least two strategies. So when the markets start to get toppy or choppy right around the year 2000, the professionals shifted their strategies. Instead of buying, some of them went into what's called a short position. So meanwhile, while the amateurs were buying, holding, and praying, you know, taking laps around the beads, saying, oh, please keep the market up, the professionals went short. And what a short means is this. Let's say the stock is at $50 here, to make it simple. What they'll do is they'll go to their broker and they'll actually say, sell me 1,000 shares at $50. Now this is the trick. They're selling 1,000 shares of stock they don't own. In other parlance, it's naked. They're selling something they don't own. So, the, the, so they sell 1,000 shares at $50. The broker deposits in this person's account $50,000. These shares are borrowed from another person who's just holding the money in their, holding the stocks in their, in their account. And let's say this professional investor is right for that day and the stock plummets on down like a horse falling out of a window. And then the reason they say that you can make more money in a down market is because it takes a long time for the bear to come, the bull to come up the market, but the bear goes out the window, it comes down really, really fast. So, so meanwhile, the people that are hoping and praying the market goes up, they're caught. The bear goes out the window, it starts to come down, and let's say the stock now hits $25. It's down. What this means here is this, this person who went short goes back in and buys 1,000 shares at $25. So they put up $25,000 of their money and then they replace those shares into this person's account who they borrowed the money from. So what they make is $25,000 profit minus some fees because they went short. So this is one way, it's like a no, nothing down real estate deal. It's called making money without money. The price actually came down. They buy the shares back when it's cheaper. They replace the thousand shares into the person's account and they keep the difference between the, the buying price and, and or the price they borrowed at and the price they bought at and make 25,000. So this is an example of a short of the stock market. Again, this is very risky because if the price had gone up, they might have lost everything. So this is a 202 or a more an advanced type of investor type of strategy. Nonetheless, it is used commonly in the stock market. But all this shows that a person can make money when the market goes up and they can make even more money faster when the market comes down. But to do that requires you investing more and more time into your financial education and your experience.